Hi, I'm Tony Wagner, co-director of the Change Leadership Group at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. But I'm also someone who spent 12 years teaching in schools and additional years as a principal. So I speak to you from that point of view, as well as from the point of view of someone who doesn't spend a lot of time in Cambridge teaching classes. I spend most of my time working with practitioners in the field pretty much every single week. So let me be clear about what I see as some of the challenges that we face as educators in the 21st century. What I've come to understand is that in the new global knowledge economy, all students need new skills. I describe them as the seven survival skills in my book, The Global Achievement Gap. Other people call them by different names. It doesn't matter what organization's list of skills you use. But what matters is that we all agree that all students need to graduate knowing how to think critically, solve problems, work collaboratively, communicate effectively, and think creatively about new possibilities. You can call them the new four C's, if you'd like. But what we need to ensure is that critical thinking, collaboration, communication skills, and creative expression are happening in all of our classes every single day in every content area. That the mastery of academic content, while important and, and as a means of teaching critical thinking, is no longer good enough. That today's students come into a world where information, first of all, is constantly changing. How many planets are there today? Have you checked your RSS feed? Are we up one or down one? Where information is growing exponentially. The amount of new information, according to University of California researchers, that came online between 1999 and 2002 was equal to all of the information that had been generated through human history until that time. So this is a world where information is growing exponentially, changing constantly, and available on every internet-connected device. The world that our students are going to graduate to is not a world that cares very much about what kids have learned. We heard a senior executive from Pella here in Iowa tell us just yesterday that kids who come in with G good GPAs doesn't, doesn't make any difference to these folks in Pella. That, that, that's not what they look for. They look for the skills that they need as a company to grow and to thrive. And the good GPA does not tell them whether or not the students have mastered these skills. In fact, in my experience as a teacher, the A students are so busy trying to get a good GPA that in fact they are frequently not developing some of these other skills. So our challenge then is to ensure as we teach and as we supervise and coach in our schools and in our districts that that kind of learning, critical thinking, collaboration, communication, creativity is being developed every single day in every class. Beyond that, we need to understand that this generation is very differently motivated to learn and to work. This is not a generation that's just kind of sit and get, that we cannot teach the way we have been taught. It will not work for this generation that is constantly connecting, multitasking, in a multimedia world everywhere except in school. So we're going to have to work very differently to engage today's students. And it's not so much a kind of really doing something totally different. In fact, a lot of the best learning that I see going on in classrooms is based on the work Socrates did 2,000 years ago, Socratic dialogues. What that means is challenging students to think, to analyze, to critique, to weigh evidence, to understand points of view as habits of mind that matter most in today's world. So the challenge here is to hold ourselves accountable to a different standard. It's not good enough that kids pass tests. The Iowa Test of Basic Skills does, tells us nothing about whether students are going to be career, college, or citizenship ready in the 21st century. It is not a test of critical thinking skills, it is not a test of communication skills, and it is certainly not a test of the ability of students to collaborate. So we're going to have to hold ourselves to a higher standard. There are assessments out there, like the College and Work Readiness Assessment, which measures critical thinking, analytic reasoning, communication skills that we can use to determine whether or not our students are on track to be college, career, and citizenship ready. We're going to have to look at that kind of data. We're going to have to look at the kinds of data that tell us whether or not students actually go on to some form of post-secondary. And 
graduate with some kind of degree that will prepare them for the world in the 21st century. So fundamentally, the challenge then goes right back to the classroom, not to the tests and test scores. It goes right back to what do we do every single day to challenge and engage our students and to give them a sense of the skills they will need to succeed in the future for today's world. Thank you very much, and good luck with your very important work.